Hey everybody, it's Daryl back again. Today we are doing a small external colony. And when I say small, that's how big it is. It's a little bit bigger than my hand. So there's about three pieces of comb here. We're going to try to salvage. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it or not, but uh, let's see how it goes. Chance of this colony booming out and making the, through the winter time slim to none, but they won't have a chance out here. So we're going to take them out, put them in a box, and we'll see what happens. So stick around. A little cat brood right there.
this comb's so brittle you can't hardly do a whole lot with it. And it's looking like this hive might be queenless. Not sure, but that's what it's looking like. What we're looking for right now is the queen.
All right, so we've cut the comb out, got them in the box. Got the comb and stuff in the box. I've yet to see a queen, so I'm thinking that this hive is queenless. There was about two or three little cells that had cat brood in it, and I didn't see any eggs or larvae, so I'm thinking they're queenless. So we're gonna give them a few minutes, get what we can in the box, and we're gonna call this one done. Uh, when I get them home, I'll probably roll through them again and check, see if they got a queen. If they don't, we'll just have to combine this one with another hive. There we go. Of course, there's going to be some bees flying around and there ain't a whole lot you can do about that, but uh, we got them in the truck. I do think these hive, this hive is queenless. Uh, I won't know for sure. I'll probably take them home, give them a day, let them settle out, and uh, go through them and see what's going on with them. So, hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, we'll see you on the next one. Okay, this five frame nuke right here is the nuke from where I went and got that external colony on the tree and as you can see it's been sitting here for maybe two hours and it kind of looks like they're getting robbed out so the only thing i can do with that is to open it up and see yes they're getting robbed out the only way to stop the robbing is to block them off and i'll probably do that but this hive was queenless anyway, so uh, there weren't a whole lot we could do about that. But what you can do, since this hive is getting robbed out, is uh, shake the bees off of the frames and just move the hive completely. Any bees that were in here can find them a new home. And one of the other hives, being it's getting so late, uh, I don't think that'll be a problem. So I went and did that cutout for that uh, external colony removal for nothing, but that's kind of what you run into from time to time. Now what I've done is just I've shook the uh, the bees out of that uh, five frame nuke and put the frames out here on the ground, and uh, I'm just going to leave that five frame nuke set up like that. What will happen is. Uh, the bees that were in this colony that didn't get killed from uh, from the robbing out, they'll actually go into a uh, probably the adjoining hive beside it. So I was going to do some more hive inspections real quick, but you can't really do that when you got uh, robbing going on because all you'll do is spread the robbing from uh, from one hive to the next. So that's shutting down the videos for this afternoon. Hope everybody's doing good, and as always. We'll see you on the next one.